Pope Francis at his audience on the 15th of this month spoke of proclamation with joy. Crumbs from Jarad. The Pope reminds us that there is only one way of evangelizing and that is with joy. Any other way is not the Christian way. You cannot be a sad Christian proclaiming. If you are filled with unbelief, if you are filled with rancor and bitterness, it beats the very proclamation that we are giving. So there is only one way, he says, and that is proclaiming Jesus with joy. He says that we must remember that our proclamation is not an ideology. Our proclamation is not just an event, but our proclamation is a person and that person is Jesus. He reminds us of the two disciples walking to a maze. They are filled with sadness and they feel everything is empty now. And then they encounter Jesus and they are filled with joy. And once they are filled with joy, they rush back to share that joy. That is what proclamation is. That is what each one of us is supposed to be. Out of the fullness of our hearts, we now proclaim. But now you say, what about today? There's so much unbelief. People reject our message. No. He says, people are still looking for hope and we still have the duty to proclaim Jesus with joy. The joy of the gospel fills the hearts and the lives of all who encountered Jesus. Those who accept his offer of salvation are set free from sin, sorrow, inner emptiness and lowliness. With Christ, joy is constantly born anew. And so we need to ask ourselves, are we Christians filled with the joy of Jesus? Pope Francis says, I invite all Christians everywhere at this very moment to renewed encounter with Jesus Christ. Each one of you, take a little time and think. Jesus, you are within me. I want to encounter you every day. You are a person. You are not an idea. You are a traveling companion. You are not a program. You, Jesus, are the source of joy. You are the beginning of evangelization. You, Jesus, are the source of joy. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day with Jesus.